Celia here from Colored Pencil for Beginners and Beyond. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Pan Pastels. So, now, Pan Pastels aren't a colored pencil, obviously, but they work really well with colored pencil. You can use them under colored pencil, even over colored pencils, and you can use them as the background because it can be tedious to do a background in just colored pencil. So these are what they look like. If you buy them in sets, they'll come stacked like this. Or if you buy them individually, they will come with a lid. You apply them with a sponge applicator. I bought this one separate. It didn't come with one of the sets. Um, and I really like it. It reminds me, it's long enough, kind of like a paintbrush, but it reminds me of an eyeshadow applicator, which um, I really enjoy. And so um, the pan pastels are the softest pastels, uh, I guess, available. And what's neat about them, um, besides the fact that you can apply them like a, like a almost like paint, like a brush, um, is that they're less dusty. So that's, that's why I like them. They're less dusty and they're less, less messy when it comes to dry pastels. So I'm just going to show you a little bit how, how you use them. So you just pick some up like that, and this is what color is this? This is the neutral gray. And then you just, um, you can gently just apply it on your paper. So um, this is sanded paper. This paper um, takes pastel really good. Any sanded or pastel paper would work really well with the pan pastels. So... Um, the girl that I did is just actually a quick sketch that I did in color pencil, and I just used a little bit of pan pastel um, on the girl, but for the background, it's all pan pastel. So you can see how easy it is, and um, the colors are very blendable. So I'm going to pick up, this is a Payne's Gray, and I'm going to start adding that just um, for the darker areas. And you can, again, wipe off your color on this on a you can wipe, wipe up your off your color sorry let me show you on a paper towel so a paper towel is really handy to have when you're using the pan pastels so you can do that every time that you change a color what I really enjoy about them is um, that they're they're much faster for colored pencil than colored pencils when you're doing the background. And they're very, very blendable. They're just very easily blendable, which I like a lot. And so you, you have a few choices when you're blending. Um, you can blend, you know, directly on the paper. You, you know, you can start maybe softening some of the edges, which is really nice. I'll blend it out nicely. You can do really nice soft gradients with the pan pastels. And this isn't the only applicator they have. They have um, different sizes of applicators, um, sponges, and all kinds of stuff. Another thing that, that is neat about them is that you can actually blend them um, right in their pans. So, for example, I could take a little bit of the ultramarine blue and a little bit of the burnt sienna shade and just uh, make a, like a new color with it. Should should be like a pretty awesome gray. So that's pretty neat. When, once you get the color you like, um, then you can add it. And um, I think that's pretty cool. So you can kind of make your own colors. They are kind of expensive, you know, I'm not going to lie. But it looks like they're going to last a long time. And the fact that it's so easy to blend two colors together, like I'm doing right now, means that you don't have to get every single color. You know, just get a few of the primary colors, get um, maybe a white, a black, maybe a gray, and I think you're good to go. So, I don't consider myself an expert at all with pen pastels. This is actually one of the very first times I'm using them, but I can already tell I'm really going to enjoy them and that they're going to speed up colored pencil work for me a lot and um, I have to give thanks to all the YouTube videos out there that um, made me want to finally get these um, including Deb Stanley um, I think her name is Bo Boki or Bokeh she's really good she does the portraits with the pan pastel and the colored pencil and then Judith from the JV Art Resources YouTube and website um, 
had a really good video about pan pastel. So I finally gave in and I'm glad that I did. Um, they're expensive, so I don't have every color. I bought the portrait set and I'm just going to kind of build from there. Um, but if I could do it again, I'd probably get the pure painting set or the pure colors painting set, but it's okay. Also, I'm able to blend, so like I said, you don't need every single color. So there still is a little bit of dust, so what I'm going to do is put the picture upright and then I'm just going to tap it on another piece of paper and then I'll take that piece of paper to the trash, or you could tap directly on the trash. You want to tap down. You don't want to blow. If you blow, it makes the dust airborne and you don't want it to get into your lungs because it's not good for your lungs. So there's a little bit of dust, but not as much as there would be if we were using just normal stick pastels. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, I guess, demonstration of pan pastels. And um, I'll leave a link to the pastels if you want to um, try them yourself. Um, and if you like this video, you know, please like, share, subscribe. And if you're not a member yet of the Facebook uh, Colored Pencil for Beginners and Beyond group, you're going to want to join that. There's a lot of great um, people in that group and they're willing to share their expertise and it's just really fun and you can post your art and get feedback and anyways well I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you next time bye